Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jimmy. I'm with Tropicana Golf. As you can hear from my voice, I had a very long weekend. A very, very long weekend. It was Father's Day weekend. And on Saturday night, I have a 90s cover band. And I was on the stage playing guitar, singing. And at 8 o'clock the next morning, my daughter, God bless her, plays softball. She had a tournament. It was 90 degrees yesterday. And we were there for four games, eight hours. I'm exhausted. I was exhausted. I'm going to be exhausted. But I had a tea time today with my friends and I wasn't going to cancel. So I thought, okay, listen, these guys don't play for money. This isn't a tournament. I'm not qualifying for anything. Just go out there, swing the club. Whatever happens, happens. Don't worry about what you shoot, man. And guess what? I shot 72, even par, the best round of the year. I'm going to tell you exactly how I did it and what I discovered right after this. Okay, like I said, I got here. I didn't warm up. I didn't hit balls. I didn't putt. Uh, I didn't stretch. I literally walked to the first tee box with a coffee and a burrito, and I said, let's go. And, man, I was hitting good shots over and over and over. And I know what you're thinking. Yeah, Jimmy, you hit it 350 yards. You probably made seven birdies. No, I didn't. I hit this driver 250 yards. I made two birdies and two bogeys, and the rest were pars. I wasn't making 40 foot putts. I wasn't chipping in. I was just playing golf, like easy, like no brainer golf. And it was the best round of the year. I did learn a couple things though. Number one, I have way too much tension in my golf swing. When I'm like at full speed, I'm here and I'm tense and this doesn't move very fast, but this moves fast. And this gives you all the power you need. So you have to let the tension out of your arms before you hit the ball. Just waggle and get up here and be smooth. And I'd literally turn to here and turn back and didn't do too much. And it was great. I'm going to play a couple holes. I'm going to show you how easy this is. There were a couple things that I did consistently, though. The first thing was I'd have my hands forward, forward over my left shoe, and I would aim left. And the ball would just fade right. And I was playing the same shot over and over and over. So here we go. Watch. I aim left. I have my hands forward. And I just swing at like 55%. Three, two, one. And the ball just goes. And it just gets down and runs to the right side. I didn't do anything crazy there at all. I'm not going to do anything crazy this whole entire hole. And I have one hole left in me. But I want to document this for you and for me so that I can remember, hey man, you don't have to do a lot. You don't. You don't have to do anything crazy. Good things are gonna happen. I didn't hear, hey, good shot, but maybe three times. And nobody even knew what my score was until like the 15th hole, they go, hey, you're even right now. I go, I know, I know I am. And I haven't done anything crazy or anything spectacular. I'm just hitting the ball swinging the club and and good things are happening i didn't use my range finder once i didn't overanalyze any putts i'd have a 40 foot putt and i would just lag it to like three or four feet and make a putt it was insane it is insane but the tension part is so important i think we overanalyze things so much and try to do so much that it just kills us I was hitting these kinds of shots all day. They're not bombs. It's 250 yards. 250. I got one, I don't know, 130 or something in. So I take a 50 degree wedge and there's the green and there's my ball. Now I get to it. I play the ball back in my stance and my hands forward over my left shoe and I go like this. That was it. That was it. That's that. That is it. Look, ball's back in my stance. I aim a little left. My hands go forward, and I do this. 
tension gone. And I turn to here and I go forward and watch what happens. Hands in front, turn back, turn forward. Three, two, one. Just the purest form of golf, right in the middle of the green all day long. Just an easy knockdown, stupid shots. Did, I, don't, I don't even have enough energy to turn my brain on. Like it was, it's just been off the whole day. The whole day, just off. Just, just swinging, not caring, not overanalyzing, just general ideas. Where am I trying to hit this ball? What am I trying to do? That was it. That's it. And then stuff like this happens. Look, 30 feet, 25 feet. Not great. Not, oh my gosh. I wouldn't have made Sports Center once. <laughs> hey, but I would just, just ho hum. That's what they call it. Ho hum. Oh, well, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. And those pretty goods ended up really good. Look, there it is. And then from here, I wasn't trying to make this putt. I'm not trying to make this putt now. All I want to do is just hit it close. The jacuzzi. I have the mentality that I'm going to miss this putt and that's okay. I just want to get it close so I can walk up and tap it in. So I just think to myself, how hard do I have to hit this ball to get it close to the hole? How hard do I have to hit it? I probably have to hit it like that. And then I guess get to the ball and I do that again. Three, two, one. Look, look, look at this. Would somebody look at this? <laughs> there it is. What is that, a foot? A foot. I walk up and do it again. Three, two, one. Par. All day long. All day I was doing that. Tension out of your arms. Mind is clear. And it's not even intentional. I'm not trying to have my mind clear. I'm just don't have enough mind to <laughs> process anything. I'm on low battery. My fuel engine light is on. I, I you know, I'm exhausted. And it, it's almost like relieving. No pressure. No pressure. People put so much pressure, myself included. Oh man, I gotta hit a good shot here. Dude, just hit the ball, man. Just swing the club. Just swing it. Let's play another hole. One more hole. That's all I got left. One more. That was just so easy that I, I'm, I, I had no effort to give today, if that makes sense. I had no effort to give, so I, I gave no effort. <laughs> I just, just, just kind of got through it. Let's hit a seven iron here, up the hill. Seven iron, up the hill. Just hit it somewhere good. Or don't even think about it. Just hit, just swing and watch what's gonna happen. One thing I did though, I didn't hook one ball today, not one. And that was massive. That's a big, big deal. Everything just faded right. And that's okay. That was good. I just knew the ball was gonna end up over there. So I'd aim a little left and I would just go to here and there, just like this, hands forward ball back swing to here and bring it down three two let me get the let me get the tension out there the tension's out three two one. Oh, guess what i missed right but i hit it well where is it it's in the bunker cool you get to see a bunker shot let's go see let's go see ball missed right though i didn't hook it I could have aimed a little bit more left. That's so rewarding and so like, oh, relieving knowing that my ball's only going to go right. It's only going to be on the right side of the golf course. So just aim a little bit more left, man, and hit it up there. If you know where your ball's going to go, you have an idea, it makes life so much easier. So much easier. And like I said, I made two bogeys. I also made two birdies. I made two bogeys back to back. I bogeyed three and four, three and four. So I haven't made a bogey in a long time. 
been hours. It's been hours. So let's see if I can keep it up. Take a 69 degree wedge for the bunker and the putter and just get it on the green and make a putt. That's it. I'm not overthinking anything. I'm not going to worry about, you know, the lie and this and the, oh man, what did I do wrong? And oh my, no, Who cares. Who cares? The hole's not over till it's over. And this is a perfect example. I didn't hit a good shot. Look, and I have, a, I have a yellow ball today. I can count on one hand the amount of times I played a yellow ball. And why I did today, who knows? <laughs> who knows? It's just one of those days. There's my ball. There's my ball. Let's bring it down so you can see it. Perfect. I take a 69 degree wedge and I think to myself, I'm gonna hit one inch behind the ball. I mentally draw a line, one inch behind the ball. And then I go like this, bam, and I hit the line. Bam, and I hit the line. Bam, I hit the line. Dig in, one inch behind the ball. Three, two, one, hit the line. You're not gonna believe it. You're not, you're not gonna believe it. You're not gonna believe what just happened. You're not gonna believe it. Let me rake this, let me grab my putter, and let me go show you what happened. So you can stop imagining what happened. I don't think you can see it. I'm telling you, this is the game. This is the game. It's unbelievable. When you don't try, <laughs> here's what happens. See, could you make that putt? Can you make that putt? The answer is yes. Yes, you can. Less than a foot. Two pars in a row. Guys, this happened all day. All day. All day. All day. Release the tension out of your arms. Play relaxed. Don't overthink it. Just go out there and hit the ball. Let the tension out. Relax. Have a good time. Don't worry about it. It's going to be okay. And you will play better. We'll see you next time.